Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to 100 Horses. Chia is expecting great news. And I have got to refill the feeder with prairie grass. But we are in the situation where we are looking to retire our current rancher. And the heir is going to take over. So this is going to be a cool episode. We're going to switch it up a little bit as far as uh, the controlling sim goes. So in this challenge, we are trying to breed 100 horses. So as you can see here, we currently have one, two, three, four, five horses on the ranch. And we are in the process of having our sixth horse come along because we are pregnant. So that's fantastic. We're excited by that. Now, Bobby Ray. So Bobby Ray is uh, currently ready to age up. So we're going to go and age him up now. And then we're going to move out our sweet rancher Sally Ann. And she's going to retire. So, I mean, that's amazing. So... Bobby Ray is about to age up to a young adult. I'm not going to bother throwing a party. I think Bobby Ray has just like got too many responsibilities at the moment to have a party. So we are going to skip the party and he's just going to get on with his responsibilities. As you can see here, he's busy with the prairie grass. Oh, Elmira Clan. Ooh. Actually, let's check before he ages up Sally Ann's inventory. Might be able to sell some stuff there as well. So I was thinking we could move Sally Ann out with 80,000 simoleons. So that would be a nice little um, amount for her, which only leaves 7,000 for Bobby Ray. But that's fine. He can he can make his money. He's got like all the nectar and stuff over here that we've been collecting. Like lots and lots of it. I know it's finely aged at the moment, but there is quite a lot in there. So let's put that in there. And obviously Bobby Ray is going to have a different approach to his mum. So he's going to have some different things that he's going to be focusing on. So it's going to be interesting to see how this changes things up for the for the ranch. Alright Bobby Ray. Come on mate. Oh shoot. We better make sure that Chia actually eats as well. Because imagine if Chia got taken away, the drama with that, I just would not be happy and I would be causing the drama. That's what I would be doing. Do not get taken away. Do not get taken away. Huzzah! Bobby Ray aged up. So Bobby Ray is a perfectionist, hot-headed and... Oh no! <gasps> Bobby Ray is evil. Oh, this is not good. Okay, um, so I'm guessing as someone that's evil, he needs to take on a, a deviant aspiration. So I'm thinking maybe the secret of secrets. Why not? So Bobby Ray has finished high school. <laughs> not with honours. <laughs> nope, Bobby Ray. But he has got his diploma, so good on him. He finished high school. <laughs> <laughs> he got through it. That's the main thing. Oh, Bobby Ray. No, please eat, please eat, please eat, please eat. No, you need to wake up Chia and get Chia to eat. We are not going to get Chia taken away. None of that nonsense, thank you. Go eat. Go eat. Go eat, Chia. No. Where are you going? Don't, no, no, no. Please eat, please eat, please eat. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think that's a good idea. I think you need to eat from the here. Because last time you were eating from there, or last time one of the mama horses was eating from there, it was just not good. Please go eat. Okay, cool. Okay, Bobby Ray, let's get you... Oh, good Lord, you're a mess. Off to the toilet. And... Quick meal leftovers and then you can take over mama's bed and mama sally Ann, let's move her on out okay so it was not doing it in the old usual usual um screen so we are in the managed households split and merge whatever screen whatever um Okay, so this is Sally Ann's new house. I've built her a little rancher retirement house. And this is actually up on the gallery. It is 
uh, base game and horse ranch only. So I thought we could actually invite over our lovely girlfriend Aqua. So let's get Aqua over here and then we'll see if we can get her to move in with us into our cute new retirement home. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it all covered in snow. Aqua will be right over. Huzzah! There's Aqua. Okay, so we are going to flit. Yep, time to celebrate. Okay. <laughs> now let's ask her to move in. Us to join household. Yo yum. Yeah. Okay, let's move in Aqua and her Bubba. Sell all lot finishings and yay. We did it and it worked. <laughs> Let's celebrate! And just like that, we have retired Sally Ann. She is off for a happy ever after with her lover Aqua. <gasps> we can propose! Let's get married! No. Sure, you can like putty humor. Propose! <gasps> Sally Ann is proposing to Aqua! Ta da! Oh, happily ever after! Mwah! <laughs> Oh, how romantic. And let's elope immediately. We're not waiting around. We know it's right. We are going to get married. Huzzah! I've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away. <gasps> We're about to get married anyway. And for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? Money, money, money. Give now. Very well. However, now that you've accepted, I must inform you that you will only get this money if you become married within seven days. Those are the terms. Good luck and congratulations on the next chapter in your life. <gasps> but we're getting married anyway. Yeah, baby. What well, well, we're supposed to be. What are you doing? Elope immediately, please. Sally Ann is always not doing what I'm asking you to. <laughs> Nash is loving it. We're going to leave Sally Ann there. She's off on her next adventure. This is her house, by the way. I thought I'd show you quickly around her house. So that's sort of very horse ranchy. And I think it's actually quite a pretty house. And she continue her nectar making dreams here. She's got a whole nectar making office. But we have done away with the horses. She's had enough of the horses. And she just wants to focus on her nectar making. So that is her dream there we don't really have a toddler room but i'm sure they can sort that out <laughs> that's their problem our problem is over at bobby ray so let's go back to bobby ray and leave sally ann to a happily ever after 
Okay, we're back at the ranch, one Palomino Junction, with our lovely heir, Bobby Ray. Who I guess is not the heir anymore. He is now officially the rancher. So let's check in on the horsey. So Chia is pregnant. So energy low fun load, that's fine. We can deal with those two things. And daddy horse is all good. <laughs> Look, Sally Ann's come for a visit. <laughs> hey, Sally Ann. Um, so I guess what we need to do now is we need to find someone to love Bobby Ray. Or at least for him to have a, like a romance with. What you doing there, Bobby Ray? I saw little love hearts above you. What are you up to there on the computer, Bobby Ray? <laughs> now, let's have a look at his relationships and see if there's anyone in his life that he could have a romance with. Because we had a bit of a flirtation with Janine Saucedo, but then we discovered she's married. <laughs> so, that's not so good. Although, I mean, I guess in theory we could still have a baby with her. Uh, there's Spencer. Who else we got? There's a lot of bad compatibilities. <laughs> we could uh, get it on with Clement. What about Darling? Darling Walsh. Why don't we invite Darling to come over and we'll see whether or not we're going to get along. That could be quite interesting. And we haven't done our wish for today, so maybe we should go do our wish. Uh, let's wish for... Oh, let's wish for romance! Perfect! And Darling's going to be right over. So there's Darling. So we're going to wish for romance and then we'll go talk to Darling. Do, 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 do. What happened? As Bobby Ray heard his coin splash deep within the depths of the well, two words pierced his mind. Give up. Well then, no romance for Bobby Ray for a while. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, Jan yeah, Janice, why don't you come over? So, <laughs> how, how do they make sure that you don't have any romance? So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know how they prevent them from having romance. There must be a high energy boredom. So hopeless from romance for making a wish. Okay, so you just get the sad mood look. Alright, that makes sense. Let's talk with Darling. She's already flirty too. Fortunately, uh, Bobby Ray's in a good enough mood that he can handle the sadness of his lack of romance abilities for the next few hours. Pick up line. Who are you? Go away. Can we tell them to go away? <laughs> Rude, you're horning in on my flirty. Oh no, darling's on flirty. Hmm. I wonder. Have science baby with. Darling! There we go. We don't need her, we just need the baby. Let's have a science baby. Why not? Uh, hold your horses from unsuccessful romance with unflirty sim. Yeah, that's not ideal. Doesn't matter. We're friends enough and we can actually have a, a science baby. We don't need to have any of this romance nonsense. No romance for Bobby, just the baby. No romance for Bobby, just the baby. Bobby Ray Michaels will make a quick trip to the hospital and use his and darling Walsh's genetic material to have a new baby through science. Are you ready to add a newborn to your household? Yes, I am. Oh, now I'm going to have to come up with a name for the baby. That's always a problem. Okay, so we're going to do the double name thing. What have we got? We've got a baby girl. Oh, lovely. So it will be named Lucy May Michaels. Welcome to the family, Lucy May. Hooray! We had a little baby. There's Lucy May, and I'm going to age her up straight away if I can. Not yet. Let's go and 
uh, kiss Lucy May's forehead talk and maybe we can give them a bottle feed! Huzzah! Tenant rule violation. I forgot we had tenants. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh, okay. Um, let's go and post a fine. Post fine for breaking the rules. We've got a full star property. That's not bad. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Thank you very much. Or oh, we should click the mail as well because we might have some things to sell in there because we are not rolling in it because mum took all the money when she moved out and retired pretty much but that's okay we can live with that we do have our horsies and our house and we don't really need that much money for things and we have like loads of nectar bobby ray is not going to take over nectar making so bobby ray needs to discover secrets snoop for secrets and eve drops on eve's drop on sims so we can maybe go out and do that in the next episode i don't think we're going to do it this episode uh who's here and oh that's janice is still here let's send her home and we don't need darling anymore so we'll send, send her home too bye bye see you later we don't need you and yay we can age up lucy may let's age lucy may up so we don't need no newborn uh we do however need a crib <laughs> whoops lucy may aged up what are we gonna get <gasps> oh no fussy intense okay great yay look at lucy may she's a little cutie let's go and uh, give her a little makeover in Cass, and we'll add a cot we'll sell that <gasps> she's got Sally Ann's eyes ah oh, isn't she cute oh what a little sweetheart Sally Ann's eyes that's perfect because I love Sally Ann's eyes uh, so she is definitely going to be rocking the purple uh, have we got like a cute little dress or something we can put her in oh there we go that's cute and no I won't wear that. What about that? Ah, oh, that's sweet. And some little purple shoes. Those tights make her look like she's got hairy legs. <laughs> They're not great. Maybe we can do like the cute little white ones. And those shoes look ugly with that. That's cuter. Look at those little shoes. Sweet. And sleepwear. There we go. Party wear. Ooh. Maybe it's funny party wear. Lavender shoes. What are we going to wear for hot weather? Or what about... Yeah, that one. That's cute. And then I think no shoes for hot weather. Who wants shoes on when it's hot? And cold weather. There we go. Oh, what a sweetie. And I'm happy with the hair, so let's just go. Oh. <laughs> Look at Bobby Ray. He's playing peekaboo. Sally Ann. Hey, sweetie, we're coming over to see the little one and help out wherever we can. Okay, that'll be fun. Knock, knock, who's there? Lucy May's first visitor. Lucy May finally met another sim outside of her household. Ah, Sally Ann's come to stay. The whole gang is back together again, even though we've barely, barely been apart. Oh, isn't that sweet? Come to stay. So I'm thinking Bobby Ray... He's going to have things a little bit different um, around the ranch. So when we get a little bit more money with him, uh, we will be able to change things up a little bit. Because uh, he's going to be more into sort of fitness and stuff like that. He's not really into the nectar making, so we're not going to do nectar making with him. He's he's a evil sim, so yeah, I think we're going to do some different things with Bobby Ray. Okay, let's check on the horses because we've got to make sure that they're okay. So, oh no, she is hungry again. Um, Bobby Ray, you can't go to the toilet yet. We've got to ask a horse to eat because if, che if we lose chair, honestly, you know Velvet's going to spit the dummy, right? Velvet will spit the dummy. Velvet will throw a tantrum like a two-year-old and spit that dummy. 
All right, Chia, make sure that you're going to eat. And um, we just must be, just about have like another horse arriving as well. Oh, well, you know what? We haven't even checked today. We haven't, there's been so much going on. We haven't even checked the age of the horses. Yay, she's eating. So we've got Bright here. Now, how old is Bright? So Bright is one day until age up. And then we've got Angel who has six days to age up and Leggy four days to age up. Okay, so we are just about to get Bright up into young adult, which means we can sell Bright, which is fantastic. And we are about to have another baby as well. So we are keeping up with our little flow of horses in and out. Oh, Nash has come to visit too. Oh, cute. Aqua must be around as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's New Year's Eve. Oops. Uh, where's the TV? Watch the TV. I completely forgot it was New Year's as well. I mean, I know it's right on the screen right there, but you know, sometimes you're focused on what's in front of you and you don't really pay attention to what's at the top of the screen and you, suddenly you realize it's New Year's Eve and you haven't really done anything. Oopsie daisies. Now, Bobby Ray, he is evil. We're gonna have to start making some evil choices with that guy. Uh, I'm going to oh, let my baby sleep on the floor because that's the evil things that I will do. I'm going to delete all of these things because we no longer need them. So, buy all of Mum's hard work. We are selling you. We don't. We don't want to have this stuff anymore. He doesn't care about legacy. He doesn't care about history. He's just gonna delete all of his Mum's hard work and go his own way his own evil evil way what he wants is like a cool gym and he doesn't want to train the horses because he's too lazy for that none of that nonsense we'll get rid of get rid of a couple of those we won't get rid of all of them just a couple and then he's gonna have his own little workout space out the back when he can afford it Oh, with all the stuff in the household inventory, we've got 12,000 simoleons. Let's build him like a little gym because that is the kind of guy he is. And maybe even a pool. There we go. He can have a nice cute little gym. Alright, so let's get some lights in there. And I'll copy the insides as well. Oh, I should probably put some windows in too. There you go, get some windows in there. And flooring wise, let's just copy what we've got. Gotta match the house, you know, and then we'll have rustic trim as well. So that's our lovely gym. I'm gonna put some mirrors up on the wall. Because when you're working out, apparently you need to watch yourself work out. So there we go, Bobby Ray will be into that. We'll get his little boxing thing here and his workout machine. I won't buy anything else at this stage because I don't want to spend too much money on it. But that's his little gym area because we're going to put in a pool as well. And then I'm going to do a little edging around there. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I guess it's shared because we've got <laughs> tenants which I keep on forgetting about. <sighs> Velvet. It's a bit hard to see what you're building when you're building in the snow. That's the only thing. Like, I want to decorate this and stuff, but... A little tricky in the snow. Okay, so we've got, like, a cute little edging around there. I'm just going to do platform that one. And then we're going to do a nice dark wood on there. Not that you can see it. And we'll do our... Maybe we'll use the get-together ones. Because I feel like Bobby would be more of a little bit of a, you know, party animal kind of fella. There we go. We've got 2,000 left, so that's not too bad. We've got ourselves a gym and a pool. So we've updated the house a little a little smidge. Yay, chair's gone into labor. We're going to have another little baby and then we'll wrap the episode up there. Oh, amazing. It's been a busy old episode. We've had Sally Ann retire. We've had a new heir arrive. Uh, Bobby Ray's taken over, so... Yeah, it is time for the new generation to take over. So maybe, oh shoot. No, wake up chair and make sure that she eats something please, Bobby. 
We are not having any of that nonsense. We know this. Oh dear, I think Lucy May might be uh, awake and angry, but that's cool. Oh, Bobby Marie's going to be happy from her misery, so that's nice. Okay, yay, she's eating. Huzzah. Very uncomfortable, yeah. <gasps> We're having a baby! Congratulations. Chia just gave birth to a bowl. What you, a foal. <laughs> a bowl. <laughs> What would you like to call her? Uh, we will call her Bowl Michaels because I accidentally just called her a bowl. Ah, hey there, Bowl. Oh, she's a little rainbow kid. Uh, rainbow. <laughs> rainbow kitty. <laughs> I think it's time for me to say goodbye, guys. My words have gone bad. <laughs> but cute. We have a new little foal. We have a new rancher. And we have a new ear. So it's a whole hot diggity dog kind of uh, thing going on in the ranch we've got some new additions to the ranch as far as a gym and a pool and Bobby Ray turned out evil so that's a shame okay guys thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next episode or in the next video catch you later bye